how does uh, how did the team, the coaching staff react to, to getting that first round playoff win? Yeah, to get the first win in the playoffs is just outstanding because you get the ball rolling, the team, the coaches, it's this the athletic, athletic training staff. I think now everybody's kind of you feel like you have a rhythm going. You, you got off the bye week, so you, your your timing's there still. So you're excited. A lot of things, a lot of momentum happens when you get that first win in the bye week. And so no, we're really excited. Couldn't be happier for our school and uh, and to be able to do it at the home crowd to see that take part of it. I know we had a lot of. Uh, uh, football alums there as well as alums period so to be able to share that experience with them is outstanding could be more happy for this university and then how is the Carroll team um, different than last year when you played them you know Carroll's interesting I mean, Mike Van Dees does such an outstanding job I think that they you know throughout time which what, what changes the names they, they they pretty much know who they are they have a home base schematically offense defense and special forces wise so uh, in that, you know, there there are some unique schematic wrinkles that are different, but what's but for the most part, what I admire most about them is that they stay true to who they are, and they they're they're, they're very well versed in who how to run their schemes well, the techniques that go along with their schemes. One thing I, that I can appreciate is they never step out too far from home base to where their players don't have the technique and uh, the, uh, the the learning that to go along with whatever that demand is. So. Uh, you know, there will be some wrinkles that I'm sure that are unique to us this year that are going to put in there. But for the most part, you're seeing um, uh, a Carroll team that plays fast, physical football, and uh, schematically somewhat uh, you, uh, identical to what they have been. So they're true to that. And then along with that, how would you say the APU team is different this year? You know, what uh, the th biggest thing that sticks out to me is just the maturity. To be to having been in the playoffs before last year to now having a first round win under your belt this year, you see a team that's more mature. You're seeing the, the the winning culture take a deeper, deeper root, so that when things like last week some turnovers happen, you know our guys never lost focus. They kept playing hard and playing hard, and so that was uh, something where you could tell that they they just love to play football, and there's maturity about them. Uh, no matter what the situation, no matter what the field zone is, they'll keep. Uh, playing hard and they'll, their maturity will, will keep them within the, the context of their own schemes and requirements. So that's what I'm excited for our guys. And then in that first round game, uh, David Trifoletti, lead, Trifoletti leads you guys in rushing uh, defensively, uh, you know, outstanding defensive player of the game is Jake Mattel, a guy who came into the into the playoffs with 10 tackles on the year and one interception. Uh, talk about a playoff run, how you, you need performances like that to to get to where you want to go. Yeah, this is this is the time if you're going to make plays, start making plays. You know, there's nothing to hold up, hold on to anymore. So to see Jake Mattel do that and the timingness of his interception is it was outstanding. To see a guy like uh, David Trifoletti to be able to come off that ankle injury and just have the fresh legs that he has, just to really step it up. Uh, it, was, it was outstanding. So now what we want to see is those playmakers across the board continue to develop continue to pick their heads up and, uh, and begin to give this team everything. So I know there's a few more guys within the ranks that can do those type of efforts and uh, they have yet to show themselves and, and I'm hoping this week, you know, collectively, everybody's going to put together that kind of effort. And then the last, you know, for mo most of the games this year, you probably came into the game knowing that you had a significant advantage over the teams and the scores ended up reflecting that. How does the approach, uh, do you guys relish the challenge of, of coming in as, you know, Carroll's being the higher ranked team and you're playing at their place? Yeah, I mean, it, you, you relish playing good football. And when you play against Carroll, you're playing good football. I mean, they're, they're, they're the best, you know. So that's uh, something you want to be a part of those conversations. You want to be a part of those competitions. And so now when you have that opportunity, especially in a playoff environment, you relish that. And... You know, we, we have the highest regard and highest respect for what Carroll, the way they run their operation from top to bottom. I mean, Bruce Parker, their athletic director, does a great job, and Mike Mandis does a great job. We, we respect their institution. They do well. So when you play those type of games, play this type of football, uh, you really begin to enjoy that because the whole experience is going to be first class. Uh, and so our charter flight taking off to the hotel, you know, and I love about our institution is that, you know, it's going to be a first class event. And... Uh, Know, be able to practice and during the Thanksgiving day is a is a real exciting event yeah. so um, it, it, it's gonna be fun and then talk about the the weather last year uh, you guys played in a blizzard yeah. this year 
Uh, at least for now, the forecast says that it's going to be clear and cold, but yeah. clear. Uh, talk about how you think that impacts the game. Uh, you know, the thing, the thing, the, the thing that's going to happen this game is it's still going to be relatively colder than where we're used to, and so that's going to be fine. And you know, our guys, you know, I, it sounds cliche, but to be honest with you, our guys love playing football, and they will play in the street if you give them a chance to play in the street against anybody. Uh, you know, they love playing with you. Uh, as a team, uh, and so anytime as a unit, they can take off and go and play football. They they love it, and so you know while um, yeah, it's definitely colder than California. Um, it's one of those things that you know these guys have that that boyhood you know love for football. It's hey, it's fun. It's in the cold. It's great. You're gonna love it out there. We loved it last year. We thought it was an amazing experience. You know, once in a lifetime experience. I'd like to keep it once in a lifetime, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but all in all, it's just you have fun. It's why you love the game of football. And then, you know, your offense didn't really skip a beat, even though you had the bye week. Talk about how just important it was, how much confidence it gave gave the team to to see that that continuity continued after a bye week, and how how that helps you guys with the timing of everything as you move forward in the playoffs. Yeah, I, I think with the bye week, I, you're always kind of concerned, and there's a part of a coach, and you want to keep your routine, your routine. And routine is very good. It's it's good to keep uh, keep you calm, to keep you you know in your own rhythm and flow. But knowing the bye week came at the right time, our guys needed to take a break. I could tell that last team meeting before we broke for the bye week that uh, they could get a little bit tired of hearing me talk, and they're a little bit tired of hearing me seeing each other, and you know that they needed a break. And and the two days they had that week, the, the full weekend they had off, what's enough to refresh them and re-energize them. Um, and the practices we had were spirited enough uh, to keep the sharpness that we want. And it showed up this last week at Ottawa. So, you know, while there's a part inside any any, any coaches, you really want to work really hard in the bye week, you have to almost, uh, you, you have to compete against that, that, that tendency and give your guys a chance to get a, to catch the break, get a rest. And it did. We healed up well. I thought we played fast. I thought that there were some fresh legs out there. And so we're excited to, to keep that routine going this week. We're going to, you know, we, we need to be sharp. We don't need to be overtaxing either because at this point in the game, you're going to do what you do uh, and do it well. Um, I think our schemes are flexible enough to give us some ad- adaptations for Carroll that will look unique to this game, that will be unique what they haven't seen. Uh, however, it's not going to take us too far from uh, our comfort level, so I'm excited about that. You talked about needing to just kind of stick to your identity. What what part of uh, Azusa Pacific's identity will you need to really execute well to, to have a chance to win Saturday's game? Well, you know, right now we're we're a heck of a rushing offense, so you know I think we need to we need to run the ball. You know, not to say we can't pass the ball. We've proven that we can pass the ball. We can pass the ball at all three levels. Uh, you know, so but you know we think we, we do a good job of running the ball. And so we love to see that phase continue to go on. There's a lot can, a lot can happen for your own good when you can run the ball. Defensively, we need to stop the run. You know, I think we we pride ourselves in being able to be a very good run defense. Off uh, offensively, Carroll is a heck of a run offense. You know, they 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 get the zone scheme going as as best as anybody in the country, and bar none. And and so that's that gives us a pretty good dose of of, of a challenge there. And, but you know, if we can do those two things well, I think we got a pretty good chance in this game. And so, uh, you know, Carol will have their own unique things planned for us that uh, you know that we'll, they always have. So, but if we can stay true to ourselves and begin to have uh, some confidence in those two areas of the game, you know, I think things will be very favorable. But uh, like we said, this is a tough opponent, and you're playing against the best.